This week on CountryMusicJunkies.com, we have the pleasure of speaking with country music newcomer from BC, British Columbia, in Canada. Her name is Lisa Nicole. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, how did you get into the music business? Because I understand your story is a pretty interesting development. Yeah, um, I've definitely been working at it for a long time. Um, I mean, I started singing when I was like nine and started, well, the first time I was in a bar, I was actually nine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, um, and then from there, I started singing at jam nights uh, like four times a week when I was like 15, 16. And then I went to music school and I eventually moved out to Vancouver. Awesome. And now, how did, now the move to Vancouver, how did your career kind of grow from there? Um, well, I actually, um, I went I went to a couple, like, the big thing was I went to a consultation with um, a guy named Rob Patty, and he said, oh, you know, you, this is what you should do, because I kind of needed some direction, right? Of course. And he sent me towards um, Judith Rabinovich and Bill Buckingham, who is my producer, and I just, I started working with them, and, you know, and I just kind of, I network a lot, like, whenever I go to events, I always introduce myself to everyone. And, like, you know, the radio people and anyone that, you know, that is in the industry I introduce myself to. So I'm quite a determined artist. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. And, hey, that's what you got to do. And yeah. Now, for, for those fans who haven't heard your music yet, who haven't heard your sound, how would you describe it? Um, well, it's definitely like country rock, um, a little bit country pop too. But I would describe myself as a little bit of like I could describe myself as an artist. It'd be a little bit of Carrie Underwood and a little bit of Miranda Lambert and a little bit of Taylor Swift. Awesome! So you kind of have love, that. Pardon? You kind of have that hard rock with the kind of pop sound, but still true to the country roots. Yeah, like you know, I've got that. Yeah, I've really got the country voice, but I've got the growl in there, <laughs> and then I can do the Christina Aguilera kind of stuff too, though you know. So. So yeah, that's, I guess that's how you can explain it. <laughs> kind of an eclectic mix, which is great. Now, yeah. let's talk a little bit about your music and your album release, and also the music video for your single, Not Over You. Yes. Do you, you want me to tell you a bit about it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, well, Not Over You was um, a, a song I wrote. Actually, that was like one of my first songs I ever wrote. And um, I was in music school when I recorded it, and then I came out here, and it was basically um, done by, like, friends and stuff, their video. Friends who have been in film, but, um, and we, did, we honestly didn't really do it on too much of a budget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to tell people that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we had a lot of, um, like, people that donated stuff, you know, like the track, the dolly tracks and stuff. And, um... So that was that, and then, um, and that was good because then I had a product, right? I had something to show people. Absolutely. More professional. And, uh, the album is, um, it's called It Got Ugly. Awesome. And, um, it's going to be released probably, well, I'm hoping to get, um, the first set of CDs in my hands this week. <laughs> awesome. And when can we expect to find those out in the public for people to listen to? Um, I probably, it'll probably be still a couple of weeks still. I gotta get it going through iTunes and stuff. Uh, I don't actually have a release date. It's, it's kind of been hectic over here. Well, that's okay. Do you have kind of a projected even like a month that we're gonna be able to expect it out? Yeah, well, I'll have, I'll have CDs. Like, I'm gonna be going to a lot of shows with my CDs, so I'll be selling my CDs. Awesome. Like, I'm playing at, um, a big country music festival this, this next weekend. So, I mean, I'll have CDs for public. Um, I think it'll probably be uh, probably this month. Awesome. Probably August. Okay, well, that that's great. Now, I understand yeah. that you are a songwriter, and as you said, uh, you wrote Not Over You. Can we expect to hear a lot of your own music on this album? Yeah, I actually wrote um, I wrote all of them except for one. Wow. Um, yeah, and what, I, and what I do is, like, I, I write the whole song, basically, and then I'll take it. And what we would do is I would take it into my producer and we'd kind of work out kinks, work out a couple lyric changes and stuff like that. So I've basically written most of the songs, or I have, except for one, the one, actually the single, is It Got Ugly. Um, I actually cut that one from a writer in Nashville. Okay, awesome. And now how can fans get in touch with you if they want to listen to your music, if they want to check out more information about you, social media, website, how can they, how can they talk to you? 
Um, well, I would love to talk to all of them, so please, um, they can contact me on Twitter at Lisa Nicole Music, or they can go through my website, there's a contact form there, and there's also, like, a, a, a guest sign book. Um, they can find me on Facebook, like, I always tell my fans whenever I meet them to add me on Facebook, or, you know, they can like my fan page, it's Lisa Nicole, yeah, Lisa awesome. Nicole Music dot com is my website, though. Perfect. We'll be sure to check that out. And Lisa, stay in touch with us. Let us know what you're doing. And uh, we oh, look yeah. forward to speaking with you again soon. Thank you so much.